today I am at Hampshire Pride. White is the color of flowers in springtime. Red the color of blood through my veins. Blue is the color of when you were leaving. Tell me, let me know what you feel inside. On a daily basis, not many days in a year really get me pumped up. My birthday, Christmas Day, New Year's Day. But there is one other day that really gets my energy flowing. That day is the day when Hampshire holds its pride. Rise and shine real life, welcome back to another video. Today, we're in Winchester for Hampshire Pride 2019. I've been coming to Hampshire Pride for the last four years. And over those four years, I have never really documented at all the starting area. Mostly because everyone knows Pride for the parade. But really, Hampshire Pride has something amazing to offer for the starting area, especially this year being their fifth year. They've got a really interesting venue. Let me introduce you to the Winchester Castle. And inside of the big wooden doors is something amazing. King Arthur's Round Table. And something that's more amazing is Pride Picks. Hi, Pride Picks. But on a more serious note, they have this hand-painted wall with things dating back to the 1300s right at the very top. I'm not really a history person, I'm more of a geography person, but it's still pretty cool. Now the parade does start in about half an hour and so many of you have turned up, which is fabulous. Like honestly, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I understand that this pride isn't all about me and yeah, I did organize a little bit of it. Like we won't go into details, but it's been so nice just chatting to so many of you, different companies, different brands that I've heard of and I've spoken to in the past and some brands that even you peeps may know. For me personally, pre-parade, 10 out of 10. It's been amazing. However, I think people are starting to line up. <laughs> An emotional wreck right now. Um, so many of you turned up. Um, I am. I smell like donkey, and it was amazing. And I look how dead I am. But out of all seriousness, I am on the brink of crying because I'm just so happy. So from my heart, just thank you, everyone who turned up. The Pride Parade is all over and it would be an understatement to say that I am exhausted because I am really exhausted. I ran the entirety of the parade more than 10 times but I'm going strong, I'm, I'm fine, don't worry about me. Eventually. With the parade all over and the interviews that I had to do all over as well today, we're back in Ashburton Hall. The thing I believe in as someone who's part of the Hampshire Pride Committee is that we should talk to the companies and the brands that we're working with. With my experience with past Prides 
and working with other Pride events, it feels as if they just invite them in for the sake of just inviting them in, and often they don't have a clear understanding on that brand's method. One thing that I do at many Pride events across the country is go to every single stall from a brand or company, no matter who they are. And from afar, it may just look like, oh, I'm just friends with every single company, which in most cases, I am friends with most of them. But that doesn't mean that I share the same message as their brand and company. For example, I do a lot of work with all the different political parties in my local area, but it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm part of one of those parties. The reason that I bring this up, some of you saw me interacting with them and thought that I was with them and you didn't mix with that brand's message. That's not the case. I treat everyone the same. Looks like everyone's just packed up. Like, where, where, did, where did everything go? Like, we can honestly have an after party right now if you want one. At McDonald's. Who's down? Who's down for this? Child friendly after party. Okay, I'm going. Off, my I'm off, I'm off. Thank, thank you, Hannah. Well. Yeah, thank Wonderful. You. Bye. So, who enjoyed today? That was so much fun! Was, was it good? I haven't been able to come to Pride in three years. I'm so happy. Oh my Welcome God, back to Pride. So Did you just watch me vlog that? Yeah. <laughs> Being a trans social media influencer, going to your local Pride events, of course there's gonna be people who recognise you and just want to chat with you and just hang out with you. For me, I really struggle socialising because I am the most shy, induced kid ever. So you may be thinking, Hannah, why are you going on a McDonald's after party with people you barely know? Me and four other people, including two people that I had met once before, went to McDonald's and that was fine, it was okay. However, after going to McDonald's, I didn't go straight to the station. After we finished eating, I followed them to their workplace where two of those people were. There we kind of waited a little while and it was okay. We left that workplace and I went to one of the people that I didn't really know house for maybe a couple of minutes. At that point, we left that one person at their house when I got into a car of one of the others. We put on the radio, listened to some tunes, just chatted about teeny stuff, and I went to the station, at which point I got onto the train. I've just realized how cray cray that actually sounds. Oh well, I'm at the station, I'm getting on a train. Pride was amazing, and having the evening that I've just had off camera, honestly, just made the day so much better. And when we get back to the studio, I've got many things to talk about. I honestly can not wait. I may or may not have just accidentally fell asleep when I got home yesterday after Pride. I'm sorry, oops. And I may have forgotten to go through the free handouts that I got at Pride. So, um, let's do that now. Bag number one. Bag number two. Don't worry, a lot of all of that stuff is just postcards, so don't, don't worry about that. A handout about a trans conference in April, a poster for that trans conference, a map of all the countries where it's hard to be LGBTQ+, a leaflet about trans equality in the workplace, a booklet from Hampshire's ceremonies about all the different ceremony stuff that they do. A leaflet that I don't really know how to summarise into less than 10 seconds, but it looks interesting. I also managed to pick up a second one of those somehow. I also managed to pick up a ton of postcards from Hampshire's libraries. This may seem like a weird and strange idea, but if you live in the UK and you want me to send you a postcard like this and I'll write a message on it, do not send your address in the comment sections, instead email me. I may not be able to send a postcard to every single person, but I'll give it my best shot. If you're interested and you want a postcard and you live in the UK, then send, send me your address. That does not sound creepy whatsoever. <laughs> I got a Hampshire County Council key ring, another key ring for a trans charity, and another key ring for a trans charity. A badge saying love your library. I also got a pen saying love your library. A mini poster for the trans conference that's going on in April. I don't know whether or not I should go. 
I, I, I know that, I know that, I know where it is, but I, I, I don't know, I'll do some research and maybe, maybe I'll go. I don't know, nothing's confirmed. A leaflet from Chroma, a business card from Chroma, and a business card from Hampshire Ceremonies. But also inside the bag, there was one other thing. And someone called George is gonna be really mad at me right now. One of you peeps decided to buy me a brownie yesterday. Uh, I may or may not have left it in my bag and completely forgot about it. I'm sorry. <laughs> to be fair, it's only a little bit squished. Mmm. It's not bad. It's not bad. If you live in Hampshire, go to this place and get a brownie. Oh my god. Mmm. You're so, good. so Adley, this is the end of the Hampshire Pride 2019 vlog. I hope you've had a fun time. Next year, maybe I would have perfected on how to vlog a Pride event. You would have thought after like four years of practice, I would have nailed it. I'm, I'm still trash at making content, I'm sorry. But I want to say a quick thank you to Hampshire Pride for allowing me on the committee for a second year. I also want to say a huge thank you for Pride Picks for allowing me to test out a camera. I know I didn't mention that on the vlog, but they, they, they there were the lens and I, I, I tried it out and I'm, I'm grateful. I didn't use it in my video, but like, I'm, I'm thankful for them allowing me and trusting me to use their camera equipment. I also want to say a huge thank you to everyone that gave me a freebie and spent the time talking to me about their brand and company. But most of all, I want to say a huge thank you to every single one of you that came to Hampshire Pride and every single one that's watching the vlog. Like, I, I really appreciate it. So on that note, I will see you all next year at Hampshire Pride because I, I will be there, by the way. Good bye. Bye. Yes. Oh, oh this was you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I am the YouTuber. Yes! Hi! Oh. Hi! I am the YouTuber. Hello, darlings. Welcome to Winter Surprise. You want me on you yeah. again? Hi! Are you ready? Right? Five hundred twenty-five thousand six hundred minutes. Wait, you mean you're fine too? I've got all my husbands with me. Goodbye, 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 friends. Goodbye, 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 friends. It's time to say.